Databits here, welcoming you to the special edition of the Databits broadcast. And today we are bringing you the General Electric Roadshow. It is a portable entertainment center, some would call it a boom box, from 1982. And the condition that I found this in, you guys would think that I went back in time and purchased this at my local Kmart store and brought it home. It is in that good of condition. Guys, this is a portable four inch color take along television, as well as FM stereo and AM radio, detachable dual speed stereo micro cassette recorder and lightweight stereo headphones. This thing is a engineering marvel. It must have been made uh, by some really, really talented engineering people from that time period. It has a gigantic power brick that came with it. It is a 15 and a half volt, two amp box. And look at the size of this thing. I mean, I'm holding it in my hand here. This is, even this thing is not portable. So I'm not sure how the rest of this thing can be called portable. Uh, there is a handle, a carrying handle on the front here that flips up to the top and then you can pick it up and carry it with you. Also included in this package was this uh, little set of headphones here. The uh, pads had completely disintegrated. So just to show here, I stole some off of an old pair of, of Sony headphones so you can kind of see what it looked like back in its day, back in its heyday. But uh, it doesn't even look like the... Uh, the headphones were ever removed from the package. Uh, the battery that you see here, again, I'll hold it in my hand so you can see it. I don't know how much this weighs. It must weigh a pound or two pounds, but this thing is gigantic. It must be stacked with D batteries, rechargeable D batteries on the inside, but uh, you can see the specs on it right there. Made in Japan. Everything that you see here with this package was made in Japan. The color television looks amazing. I'll turn it on for you here shortly so you can see it uh, in its, all of its splendor. It's got a, uh, a telescoping antenna here on the top that you can pull out to pick up your favorite uh, analog television stations. Uh, just some general functionality here. On the top here, you'll see the, uh, the tuning dial and it has uh, an AM FM selector, stereo mono selector, radio line in. It has RCA jacks on the side. I'll show you that here shortly as well. Uh, tape input as well as TV selector. You have a tone control. I wish it would have had bass and treble controls, but hey, what can I say? Uh, balance control here, volume and power control right there. This is your tuning dial right here. So it's analog tuner. And you can see the dial also has a VU tuning meter as well as a uh, power and FM stereo indicator there on the dial as well. Probably my favorite feature, and hopefully this is your favorite feature with this unit as well, is the detachable stereo micro cassette, not cassette, but micro cassette portable recorder or not recorder, but well, actually it is a recorder. It's a recorder and a player. Uh, it has two built-in microphones. You can see them right there. It has uh, a very nice, shiny, metallic finish. In fact, I think it is metal. If it isn't metal, it looks just like it. It has a, a little tiny tape counter right there. The tape counter works. Didn't have to replace this, the belts in this thing or anything. I was really surprised. Uh, it's got an a interface connector here that plugs into the rest of the stereo and allows you to hear the tape deck on it. Here's what it shows on the back. Has its own model number, 3SVA410. Uses uh, two AA batteries, and you put those batteries in right there. There's a beat cut button here, AB. On this side, you have your microphone inputs. So you can plug in two separate stereo microphones. You've got your two volume controls separate for each channel, left and right. And you've got a headphone jack that's actually metal as well. So this thing is spectacular. I'm really excited about it. What I'd like to do in a future video is demonstrate the full performance of this uh, playback deck and do it 
with a direct line input into the camera. So I'll demonstrate the sound quality here shortly, but uh, I just want you to be able to hear uh, the, what this micro cassette deck can sound like, how good it can sound. Uh, the tape travels at about half the speed of regular cassette tapes, so it's, it's going to suffer in that regard already. Uh, because the faster the tape moves, the uh, potentially the better sound quality you can have. But uh, it does have a metal and normal tape selector on it. So um, I'll try to use a metal tape. The other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to connect this to my DBX decoder, encode one of these tapes with DBX noise reduction on it, and see if it makes the tapes sound any better. It certainly works well for regular cassette tapes. Underneath that cassette uh, well here is the uh, tuner for the television, and it picks up channels all the way from 2 to 83. They are pre-marked from 2 to, t to uh, what is it, 13, and it came with little stickers, and you can put stickers over it and set these for any channels that you want, okay? So I've stuck a little 27 right there for channel 27, which is my UHF transmitter uh, down in the basement. You can hit channel back and forth there just by hitting the touch of a button. And uh, the picture quality, like I said, is spectacular. Uh, the speakers that are built in are, yeah, they're okay. They're really not that amazing or anything, but uh, they do the job just fine. So uh, as promised, let me go ahead and show you those controls that are on the side as well as the auxiliary input. On the right side of the unit is your left and right RCA inputs for a line in, so you could have hooked a, a CD player or a turntable that had a preamp built in, and you could also plug in a stereo uh, pair of headphones right there on the back of the, on the side of the TV as well. This little panel opens up here, and it allows you to program the different channels. So you simply press on the front, which preset you're going to program, and then you press the up and down button. And once it reaches the channel that you like, then you press the channel next button and that preset has been set. Very, very cool and very easy to set up. On the back of the unit here, there is also some jacks that you'll see here. There is an internal and external switch here to switch between the internal and external microphone, or not microphones, antennas. And you also have VHF, FM and UHF connectors there. You have um, brightness, contrast, all that kind of stuff for your television, your color settings. Over here, and it's a little dark, can't really see it too well. Let me see if I can make it uh, adjust here. Nope. Uh, this has a charger input as well as a power input. So if you want to charge your adapter, you do one plug. And if you want to do AC input, you plug it into the other one. And there's some uh, instructions on here that explain that as well. Uh, that gigantic battery pack that we saw in the beginning goes in here and there's whole entire panel comes off. And if you really just want to go crazy, you can put 12, that's right, 12 D batteries in there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, 12 batteries as well again as that battery pack. So if I wanted to put the battery pack in there, I could just, uh, set it up inside of here like that and then I plug in this little lead right into that uh, jack that's right behind there it must add at least like I said one to two pounds maybe three pounds uh, for this entire weight of the boom box all right so now let's get into the demonstration of the unit and its sound quality so for the first part of the demo here, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, television reception on the unit. And again, I am uh, broadcasting this from my basement from a UHF transmitter. And uh, sometimes it's a little iffy on the uh, reception here, but uh, okay, that's a, that's a happy place for it. Now, unfortunately it's scanning at a different rate than my camera is taping, videoing. So it's gonna look a little shaky and a little a little uh, strange there, but uh, there's the picture quality. It's really not bad. I think it could probably do better. There's a happy place for the antenna. And you can see it's playing PBS Kids from downstairs. It looks really, really good for an analog signal playing on this TV. Okay. 
All right, quick demonstration of the radio here. You can see our power indicator light is on. So let's roll through here and see if we can pick up some stations. So that worked. Oh, this is actually AM. Ha! <laughs> okay. Not bad for AM. He's a god of truth. All right, He's so let's switch over to FM. The new country 923 Facebook page. Which trender item has the swarming locust? Holy zip. So you can see the uh Sound quality on it is quite good. So, uh, but you know, not a lot of bass, which is expected for the type of speakers that are in this thing. So now let's move over to demonstrating the uh, micro cassette recorder and player. One of the things I was really excited about when I got this unit is the fact that it had its own little demonstration tape included with it. This is a micro cassette pre-recorded music tape. You don't see those very often. And I was so excited to see that this was included. You can see it says not for sale on there. It has like uh, three songs on it, I think. And I'm guessing based on the music that I heard on a Sony reel to reel demonstration tape, uh, the music is probably also Japanese people. There's no singing, but there is music on there. It just has a little bit of different flavor. It doesn't sound American. I'll just say that. So again, this tape is made in Japan. You can see it there in the corner. And uh, here's the cover on that as well. So again, I'll play a little bit of this for this uh, for this video, but not a whole lot because I don't want the copyright police to to flag me. So I'll put this tape on a separate uh, on a separate upload. Uh, side B of the cassette is empty, so it has some space there for you to uh, make your own recordings. Now I don't think that this is a metal based tape or a metal bias cassette. But the, as I showed you earlier, the machine itself will record on metal tapes, and that'll be what I use for uh, really an ultimate sound demonstration. All right, the first thing we're going to need to do is insert the tape, and let's rewind it, because as you can see here, it is not rewound, because I was playing it back earlier. And uh, let's see, rewind is right there. Tape is not very big. As far as the length of it goes, you can see the uh, tape counter moving right there. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit play. Got a pause control right there. I can, it's an electric pause. Got a little fast forward action here. As I pleasantly blow your eardrums. Uh, again, rewind. Uh, I can show you that it has the half speed on there as well. your half speed there is no noise reduction on it and even if it had noise reduction it would probably be Dolby B which is uh, next to worthless in many cases so uh, not exactly wouldn't exactly be thrilled if it had Dolby noise reduction we'll add our own DBX noise reduction on a on a future uh, podcast broadcast okay this unit also came with its original box so I thought I'd just show you the box it's pretty cool uh, this is 1980s uh, uh, graphics and uh, logos as well. Uh, this was uh, the, a famous slogan for GE for a long time. We bring good things to life. And uh, boy, did they in this uh, package here, made in Japan. And uh, here's the side of the box here. Actually, the front. We just saw the side. Uh, look at these happy folks here. They've got their two... 
uh, portable entertainment centers with them. They are ready to party like there's no tomorrow. And hey, everybody needs a nice moped to uh, tote around this uh, particular unit. I don't recommend it on a bicycle. You'll be exhausted in no time trying to haul this thing around. Uh, wanted to show you some of the other cool things that it came with, uh, one of which was this little suction cup. Yes, it came with a suction cup. And what does the suction cup do? It allows you to remove the front lens that's on the front of the television and clean it. That's all that's for, just to clean the little front plastic cover that's over the TV set. Over here I have uh, some other cool things that it included. Uh, it had some uh, Q-tips, some little cotton swabs. Uh, this is for cleaning your ears out as you listen to the music. Your earwax may uh, develop, you know, and get out of control. So it's always good to have that. Uh, or I guess you could clean the tape heads on the uh, little guy as well. Uh, look at this. This is these silver channel markers to go on the front and it says refer to the owner's guide for how to apply these channel markers. It actually came with a sticker so if you think that Apple was the first company to include stickers to advertise their products uh, apparently not. Uh, this is a General Electric Roadshow sticker that was included in there and there was actually two of them. The first one you saw at the beginning of this video. We have some important television safeguards that we must read. So these are very important that you read these and go through them. They're very important. Um, it has a vital TV records thing here. Oh, this is uh, your product safety registration. So if there is ever a recall, you would uh, get information from General, General Electric on uh, any recalls that may occur with the unit. Again, here is the little thing about uh, being safe with your TV. Don't plug all the plugs in like that right there. That is just not good. That's not a best practice. Let's see. So let's take a look at some of the accessories that you could have gotten with this thing. So uh, what do we have here? We have the uh, S3SVA110 uh, rechargeable battery pack, uh, just $50. The battery pack that you saw earlier, the one that was included with it, is this one here. And apparently it ran for $144.99. Uh, for $24.99, you could get this uh, car adapter. You can get another pair of stereo headphones for $15.99. And if you happen to need uh, a pack of 10 blank tapes, you can get that pack of MC60s for just $39.99. And uh, this is your order form. Just fill out your order form and send it in to General Electric and uh, they'll send you all the stuff that you ordered. Uh, we have here the user's manual for it, the original user's manual. Go through and show you how to use all the amazing features, how to load the batteries, how to use the battery pack, uh, how to detach that front cover that we talked about, adjusting the uh, color controls on the television, adjusting the audio, and uh, using the micro cassette recorder. Pretty cool. And then, this is really something you don't see every day. How about an entire schematic for this thing? The entire schematic. Cassette circuit, uh, radio circuit, it's all right there for you in case you need to repair your own unit. Guys, this about covers it for this vintage trip to the road show made by General Electric from the early 1980s. I want to thank you for watching this with me. This has really been an exciting time. It was like Christmas when this thing arrived in the mail. Uh, from eBay. It was an absolutely amazing time and uh, wish you could have been there when I actually opened it up. I might have to do that uh, sometime when I get something is actually videotape it as I'm opening it because it was really cool and it was even more exciting when everything just worked. It was unbelievable. It shows you the quality and craftsmanship that went into this machine when it was originally made and somebody took very good care of it as well. 
So again, thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel. There's lots of more great vintage stuff on my channel. Please see uh, a couple more of my videos. Subscribe. I'll keep you updated. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. Leave a comment below. Click the like button. Um, and guess what? We will see you guys next time.